hi everyone i'm back again with another tutorial today we're going to be making a, a long dress we're using two different fabric for this um, tutorial the half length the upper part of the dress will be a stretchy fabric while the down part of the dress is a ankara fabric or african print so before we start this is the pattern i draft out for my client measurement so you go to my channel you see how i made a pattern draft with the pattern draft basic pattern draft you can use it to make any garment you want to make the top i'm making the upper part of the dress is going to look like a, a v-neck off shoulder a bit off shoulder so this is the one i made here so this is my neckline the depth now i'm gonna make a v-neck off shoulder this is the neckline the downside i'm taking a six and a half inches six and a half inches here so from here where the shoulder ends from this place so i'm gonna draw a line to make this six and a half inches i might If you want it deeper than this, you can do it like that, but I just want mine to be six and a half inches. So I will, I will cut this off. I'll cut out this part. So this is how it should look. So I will place my fabric and will spread my fabric on the table. I will transfer this pattern to my fabric. This is the fabric, the stretchy fabric I'm using for the upper part of, for the upper part of the dress. So I'll be using um, a meter of fabric. I'm cutting out the front panel first. So I'm cutting out here, you know, I'm cutting out I'm cutting out by uh, one inch from here again, you know, from the ankle. I'm cutting out one inch. The fabric should be your center fold. It's folded, mine is folded into two. And so I'm not going to be adding any seam allowance to the dress because it's a stretchy fabric. So I only add um, two inches for the zip allowance at the back side. So the length of my dress or pattern uh, paper, the length of the upper part is 36 inches. Can extend your line. So I'm cutting out the front panel. If you like, you can add maybe one or two. Two inches for the one or two inch for the seam allowance, but I'm not adding easy stretchy fabric. You don't need it. So this is the front panel. So I'll be cutting like this again for the back one. I'm adding two inches for the back side for 
zip allowance. This is done. This is the upper part of the dress. So I will cut this into two, the back side into two. But that is where I will insert my safe. So next is to cut out the, the sleeve. I'm making a short sleeve. I will first cut it normal. I'm taking now making the sleeve length nine inches plus one inch for seam allowance. I'm cutting out two of these. So these are the two sleeves. So remember I cut out one inch from here, from the top here, I cut out one inch from the armhole. So I will be cutting out one inch here so that it will, it will match up with the armhole I have there. So this is one inch. You just cut out a normal, um, normal sleeve. After cutting out the normal sleeve, the, the off shoulder I cut out one inch from here, from the armhole. So I will be cutting out one inch here as well from the from the sleeve I made. I'm cutting out one inch. So that you can match with the, the sleeve to achieve the off shoulder, a little bit of shoulder. I'll do the same thing to the other sleeve. So this one is set aside. I'm gonna be cutting the the damp part of the, the dress. The damp part of the dress will be a flare. So guys, this is the the fabric I'll be using for the damp part of the dress. This is African print. So what I'm going to do, I will be joining it um, above the new. So you measure the circumference of where you'll be joining it. The one I'm working with is 32 inches. 
So I'm using half of the 32 inches. As I'm cutting out two of that, I want it to be full. Half of the 32 inches is 16 inches. I'm cutting out two of 16 inches. So you fold your fabric, 16 inches, you divide by four because I'm gonna be folding the fabric into four. So 16 divided by four is four inches. So I fold my fabric into two. I'm folding it again. Let's fold that into four now. The fillet length is 30 inches plus one inch for seam allowance, that is 31 inches. So the length I'll be making it 31 inches. So I'll be placing four inches here because I divided the system by four. So you mark four inches here. Let's match up. Four inches there. And mark it. I take it out. So you take it out. That's one inches. So I'm cutting it out now. I'll cut out this first bit and side. This is one part. So I'll be cutting out another one, cutting out two of this, two of this. So I'll place this, I'll be using this to cut the other one. This is the two flat I cut out, the down part of the dress. So I'm going to be best is for me to put all the fabric together. I'm starting with the upper part of the dress. I'm gonna be inserting my zip. There is the front and this is the back. So I'm going to pin my zip now. This is where I insert my zip. I have to pin it there, then I come back to show you guys how I saw it. And so I finish uh, attaching the sleeve to the back um, panel. That's it. So what I'm going to do next is to join the fabric. Take one of the flared I cut out and join it to the. I'm taking one of the flare I cut out. So 
So I'm going to join them together. Take it like so and pin them together. Just go ahead and pin. Pin it. This is a stretchy fabric. I didn't add that to the to the upper part of the dress. So I pin the pin them together, the right side are facing each other, then you pin it like so. So I'm pinning, I'm gonna be pinning the other uh, panel, the front panel as well. Pin them to pin the front panel to the flare. The right side should be facing each other while pinning them. So I've pinned them together, pinned the upper part and the down part of the dress together. So I will now take them to the machine and sew from here to the end and the other side I'll do the same thing to the other side. So I'll finish attaching the both um, upper part and the down part of the dress. This is the upper part, this is the flare, this is the back panel and this is the front panel. So next is for me to join them together and sew so the side, the both side. So you just put your fabric together like so. Use a pin. So I'm going to pin it. I'm going to pin it from here. Start pinning it from here, really unfold. From here to the bottom so I'll pin this side as well I finish pinning them. I'm gonna sew this place, the side, the both side, from here to down, from where the ample ends to the to the bottom of the dress, and I will sew right here. I will sew from here, the side again, where the ample ends. I will sew it to the bottom of the dress. So guys, I finished sewing the both side. From here is the done. Bottom to dress. What I'm going to do next is to attach the sleeve to the to the dress. I've cut out about 10 inches of uh, fabric. I'll be adding it here. So I'll just fold it like so. I just want to add this to the to the bottom of the, the sleeve. So you sew it, pin them together. And finish your press it. So what I'm going to do next, is to attach my sleeve to the dress. If you're attaching the sleeve, you're sewing the sleeve, you make sure the right side are facing each other. 
just sew it from here. You attach this um, the fabric I attached to it. You sew here, and after that, I will attach it to my dress. So I finished sewing it, the sleeve. I will now attach it to the to the dress. So you hold it. This side where you join the the sleeve, you you match it to the side here. Pin it to this side. the other side again and this time you make sure the right side of the sleeve is facing the right side of the dress okay to the earlier is an off shoulder view neck So I will pin the other side again. If I will cut the neckline, try to hem the neckline. Now go ahead and then stitch it to the dress. Next is the neck. So I'm going to be cutting a, I'm going to be cutting some fabric to hem the neck, just like a bias. We cutting it bias yes. to hem the neck. I'm going to be cutting a bias or a fabric to hem the neck. So I'll measure it from here. I'll take it from here. I cut it like so. So I'll cut here again. Cutting this one. So what I'm going to do, to make it, then just to achieve that V shape, I'll place this. I'll lay this on top of the, the other one, just to achieve that V shape. I've cut this out, then I lay it, I lay this on one on top of each other, I lay them on top of each other to achieve that V shape so i'm going to be doing the same of the dress the back panel so i will do it like so i'm going to stitch here stitch the other side and i'll show you how i'll hem the neckline like i said earlier so i joined them together to make the to to achieve the shape the v shape so what i'm going to do you face the the right side to the right side of the dress you place it at the midpoint here and you pin it with the midpoint front midpoint so you just want to pin it around then you do the same thing on this side Pin it to where the zip is. So as you finish, you just hem it. So I'm gonna hem it the whole neck. After hemming it, you take it inside, you tuck it inside just to achieve a neat uh, a neat finish. You tuck it inside. So guys, here's the finished look of the dress. I'll finish hemming the neckline. So here is the damp part. It's really nice. The flare is very full. I love this dress. If you love my video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. See you on my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. Bye. Love you all. Bye.